What's up lads and ladettes, how are we doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. So, today we're going to be technically hunting prancers. We've got to kill like 50 of them, but we're going to be uh, around here, just sort of uh, just sort of south of Odysseus Landing, sort of west of, what the fuck is this, uh, Fort Victoria. So, we're going to be uh, mainly trying to go after prancers, but, you know, Trascrons and Merps and shit, they're, they're, they're all fair game. They're all fair game, but we are going to be trying to aim for the prancers, and there are, there, you know, there there are a decent amount of prancers here. There was a spot, um, uh, near that freaking cold place that used to be chock-a-block, just fucking chockers full of, uh, full of prancers, but that's gone now. I'm not sure if there's any specific spot where I can find like, just prancers. I know they're kind of everywhere. Um, you know, like, literally just kind of everywhere. Uh, there probably is a spot, and I could probably find it later on down the line, but this is a more, uh, reliable spot for me, because I know, you know, I know prancers are here. I know that they're, the mobs that are around them aren't too, like, too severe, so I can kind of, like, sort of wander around, go a little bit ham, and if, uh, I draw aggro from any of the others, then it's not too big of a deal. Uh, there is... Let's see, is there any around here? Yeah, there's one there. Cool. Because, yeah, around here you have smaller Atreus Grons, you have Prancers, and you have... Uh, what are these? Snogs. You have Snogs. Which, uh, the Snogs are... Snogs are good hunting down here as as, uh, as well. They, they make for uh, decent hunting here as well. Now, the prancers are interesting because the prancers, they, uh, drop their hide. And, of course, the hide is very, uh, very pretty. It's a very pretty hide, and, uh, I think... And, and I think it's one of those ones that, uh, uh people tend to go after more. Because it's very, it's very colourful, very nice looking. But, uh, we're just, we're just gonna be, uh, travelling along, hopefully finding some, hopefully finding a decent chunk. Yeah, there's another one. And, uh, th this swamp is a very interesting kind of biodome. Like, or it's a very interesting, uh, biome. Uh, this sort of swampy area. Because it, it, it does, it does look very, uh, very swampy, very nice. It does have this sort of realism feel to it. And it kind it kind of makes sense. Like, you kind of look at this sort of stuff. You look at the, the biomes of these islands here. And it looks, it looks very good. It looks very well sort of thought out. You got this sort of swampy marsh bit here, and you got sort of like just sprawling grasslands up here, and then all through here you've got like rocks and water, and it's quite good. I quite like it. I I I, re I really do get into uh, sort of map design, level design. It would probably be the the more apt way to you know express it would be uh, level design. But it, it is quite, uh, it is quite nice. Oh, there's another Prancer there. So it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too difficult to kill 50 of those fuckers. Because they are pretty, you know, that that this area does have quite a few of them. And, uh, who knows, we might get lucky. These, uh, Trioscorons, they, they, uh, they've global for me pretty well in the past. Uh, especially the ones around here. The ones up at, um... Big industries, it's sort of hit and miss. But I guess, as long as we can get our prancers done, I guess it really doesn't matter all too much. As long as we get the daily done, then, you know, I will be a pretty happy man. It looks like there's going to be a few little glitchy bits and bobs around here, but that's okay. You know, li little, little bit of lag here and there won't kill me. There's another Prancer. I was actually going to do the uh, Thorio female, but I got I got into it and man, just trying to trying to actually kill like a hundred Thorio females because when they're around so many other mobs, and it's not that they're around so many other mobs; it's that the mobs that they're around hit like a fucking tank, like genuinely they hit so goddamn hard, <laughs> and then I need to. I need to go into my ship and then fly up and I need to make sure that I'm finding the right, like, the right spot to get a cluster of them. 
And then, you know, if I'm unlucky, I get flanked by, like, the shamans and stuff. It sucks. But, could be worse. But, you know, I got, I got that done. It took fucking forever. And, and uh, now I'm doing the prances. I, I, I was, there was another one that I was going to do. But, nah, no way in hell I'll be able to do that one. Uh, you know, you got, you got to kind of pick and choose. I do need to get more different um, things of armor at some point in the future. Because, you know, I am slowly running into more and more different mobs that require different things. And, you know, the things that I'm used to hunting. Uh, the uh, armor that I use on the mobs that I'm used to hunting, it's just, it's just not not sufficient enough for for those mobs which you know isn't 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 a bad thing it means that i'm you know getting more variety looking for more mobs and uh hopefully coming into contact with uh more different types of mobs learning their locations learning you know just just various things oh where's the prances where's the prances a lot of trash grounds around here. There'll probably be some... Yeah, there's one. There's a prancer. Oh, there's a number of prancers around here. That's good, that's good. It's good when you find them in a cluster. If you can find them in a cluster, then that's always... It's always a good thing. And I am just going to... Num num on one of these loot collection pills. Just so I don't have to... Don't have to worry about the, the the worst thing is to be hyper focused on trying to find mobs, and then kind of forgetting to loot one or two mobs because you know that one or two mobs is the mobs that is going to give you the global. Yeah, and and if you forget to to loot them, they'll you know then you've only got yourself to blame. Then you only have yourself to blame. Uh, let's see, is there any? Is there any more around here? Doesn't look like it. There'll be more up around the bend. We got some snog, we got a uh, Trascaron. A lot of Trascaron actually. We got an Atrax up over here. Yeah, th th those those guys um, those guys hit a little bit too hard for my liking. They hit just a little bit too hard. Ah, oh, there's a prancer. There's a prancer. You can tell by their uh, their dopey ass necks. They look like snakes, snake necks. They're the most weirdest. One of the most weirdest ones that I, I think are around, just because they do look so like they look weird, right? They look weird, but they look like something that could have existed at some point or another. They're, they're, they're a strange animal. They're a, very, they're a very strange animal. So we've gotten through 12 of the bastards. So we've gotten through 12 of them, and we've... Oh yeah, I reckon we're gonna... Yeah, we should be able to... If, if we're able to kind of like just go after the Prancers almost uh, exclusively, we should... Hypothetically, we should be able to finish this up real, real easily. The one problem with that, of course, is making sure you kind of find them exclusively. And I mean, it, it's... Mm. There, there are obviously certain dailies that I prefer. I prefer the, the stock standard, like the... I like the Argonaut Cave daily, and I also like the Fephoid Cave. So the Argo Cave and the Fephoid Cave... Just because it's so simple. You get in, you get out, done and dusted, two coins per day, or two tokens per day. Like, easy, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And, you know, all, all it would take would be... What? Like, uh... Ten days to... Like, ten days to get one of the 20 tokens, and then... Or, uh, 20 days to get, you know, the 40 token ones. Like, if you were to do it every day for 12 months, then, hypothetically, you should be able to have enough coins to get, like, tw uh, to get... What was that, like, 12, um, like, 60, 
like 60 token sort of things you know there, there, there's quite there's quite it's uh doing the doing the uh the Fefoid and the argonaut daily it's quite um i wouldn't say it's quite profitable you you really just got you got to get lucky with those for it to be quote unquote profit profitable but it does allow you to get um you know, those weapons relatively simply. And I'm still... Oh yeah, there's the Prancer skin. See, that was very pretty. What does it actually go for, market value-wise? Not much! Like, at all. It doesn't sell at all. That's, uh... That's actually quite surprising. I wonder if, uh, can that be refined? Uh, please add more material. So, okay, I need to add in more... I need to add in more stuff to make Prancer Leather. I'm gonna have to do it just to see exactly what sort of shit you get back. Like, what the Prancer Leather does. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it would be uh, one of the more intriguing, one of the more uh, interesting patterns, I think. Especially if you imagine getting a, like a suit and ha making it just tie-dye and colourful. I'd, 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 I'd do that with a suit. Let's have a colourful tie-dye sort of suit. That'd be funny. That'd be very funny. I'd do it. Someone should do that for me. Anyone that can actually uh, colour clothing, I'll, I'll buy like a suit that can be coloured. Or some kind of clothing that could be coloured and uh, we'll make like some hippie dippy shit. Uh, some hippie, hippie dippy shit. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. Where? So that's a snog. Gotta find, gotta find these prances. A lot of triascrons. Just know what we want. We want prances. We want lots of them prances. But I guess you know we can kind of like just go through and kill triascrons anyway. It's not like there's any rule saying that we can't. As long as we, uh, as long as we try to finish the. Prancer daily, then it's all good. I mean, we only need to kill like 35 of them, or well, 34 of them once this one's dead. So it won't take all too long. Yeah, we got some blue paint. What does this sell for? 108, uh, 100 and, I'll say 115. Not bad. 115 for the week, that's not too bad. I mean, it's no orange paint can, but, you know, it works. Being, being able to at least get some decent markup stuff is always good. What about these basic cl what about this basic cloth? Eh. It's it's a eh. Or at least we're like l at least this way going through uh you know killing multiple different types of mobs we're able to get like a blend of animal muscle oil and animal eye oil which will come in handy for when we do uh, when we need to do the, what is it, the plastic screws? The plastic one screws, or whatever the fuck they are. Because they're, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be fairly important later on down the line. Especially when we start making our own shit. That probably won't be really a thing until next year. You know, making our own stuff. We gotta get, we gotta be getting, like, a decent ped flow cranking. Which, uh, now that I've got my, like... Now that I have a rough idea of the things that I'm going to be doing, I can now start actually looking at investing again. Now that I've got, uh, you know, I've got my my weapon that I'm going to use for the things, the low level mobs that I enjoy hunting, uh, and and you know, and a few other a few other things. And now that I know with these m like bigger hunts, I'm going to be utilizing. Uh, I say bigger hunts for for my daily hunts. I'm going to be utilizing the the daily token weapons now that i know that it's going to make it a hell of a lot easier to you know to keep track of everything and, you know there'll be some times where you know let's say it's a, a bonus daily where i don't need to do big big damage i can just come in with uh with my corrosive attack nano chip you know i could just come in with that and Take care of everything that way. But where? Come on, man. It's so hard because they got skinny fucking necks. They got skinny fucking necks. 
and they're hard to uh, they're hard to pinpoint because of those skinny fucking necks. What we'll do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit. We're, we're gonna go th like all throughout the the swamp. We'll try to do like circuits of the swamp just to find them. There's one. <laughs> Tiny neck. Tiny bloody neck. Tiny snake bird neck thing. But that will be number 20, and then we'll just have 30 left to kill. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hey, there's two of them. Awesome. It's always good when you're able to double up, boys. It's always good when you can double up. And we're doing... How are we doing on actual... You know, money. Uh, so we're about halfway through that, so... If, so, let's say 55, 60, so 70, 70, I think we're down about 25 PED, which isn't good. I would like to make that back, <laughs> but doing these dailies, it's it's always going to be one of those things. You really got to have, like, after you've done all of your dailies, you got to, like, across, like, a week or a month, you got to sit back and go, okay, now what is my total loot stuff? But that's if you're not depositing. If you're depositing, then I don't think it really matters as much. I mean, you should always check to see what you're getting back. But uh, if you're if you're just um, you know if if you're if you're just hunting and you're depositing and all that sort of stuff, or you're just uh, you're or you're doing free to play stuff, it's always good to sort of uh, keep track of everything. I mean, either way, it's good to keep track, but. I think it's not as big of a deal to keep track if you're depositing uh, frequently. Obviously, you want to keep track of your, like your end, like end of month, or you know how much how much do I put in this year to how much do I have now? You know because that's always subject to change, especially if you invest, like if you put money into shares and deeds and shit like that. You know it's always subject to change. It's always subject to you know how good an area is going, but, yeah, uh, that, 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 that sort of a thought is more for people more smarter than myself, I reckon, uh, that, but, you know, like, not that I'm dumb, I'm nowhere near dumb, uh, but worrying about it, it's just not, it's just not my, uh, it's not my style, I mean, a lot of you guys know that worrying about, like, that, like, the, like, sweating the small stuff isn't, too much my, uh, isn't my thing. Am I saying that tracking every, you know, every little peck spent is the small stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I probably am. Or at least in, in my, in my mind, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna track my armor decay. It's just not something I do. Um, I don't really track weapon decay too much. Um, <laughs> funny enough, though, what, what I do track, uh, like, I, gen I tend to track that sort of shit when I'm swanting. I don't, I don't tend to track it when I'm doing this sort of, th this sort of shit. No, no, no. It's only when I'm swanting is when I actually track stuff. That's the only time that I give a shit. Why? I have no fucking clue, man. I got no clue why swanting is sort of my... Yeah, it's, it's sort of the one that I utilize when I'm really in the mood to just do something somewhat mind-numbing. Because cause swanting can be pretty mind-numbing. Uh, I, uh, I, ha I have been sort of researching ways of making it not as mind-numbing. Uh, just to make it go like just that little bit quicker. Check out this little plant growing here. Yeah, it's quite nice. I, I like the little little details on like different plants and stuff. I like it. It makes everything seem like just that little bit more alive, you know. Now where are we? We are kind of on the edge of the. Yeah, we're kind of on the edge of um, the swampy swamp. And you know, there's probably prances like out of the swamp as well, but sort of staying in the swamp is probably the best idea. 
Because at least I know that they are there. There's a Prancer. And I know the A tracks aren't in the swamp. <laughs> They're around the swamp. Hey, we got some Papillon. Come, come back, Mr. Papillon. If only 14. Man, fruit drops on uh, on Calypso is fucking shit. Fruit drops on Cali are fucking shit. I don't know if anyone else notices that. The best places to find fruit, I reckon, are probably Next Island and... What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a drone. Alright. Cool. There's robots around here. I had no clue that there were robots around here. Drones, cool. Very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, Next Island and Monria are probably the best places to, like, for larger stacks of fruit. Because they're so few and far between when you collect, when you get fruit, you want the fruit to be of a sizable stack. You want it to be, like, bigger. But a lot of the times, just not. A lot of the times, it's just shit. Oh, it's a snog. I was trying to figure out what this other red dot was. Thinking maybe it was another prancer. But we're getting we're getting relatively close. We're getting relatively close here. And uh I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping to just find like clusters of three and four, just one after the other. I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky though. So something tells me I'm not gonna get that lucky. Something tells me that I ran out of my luck around here the day that I scored my shopkeeper pad. And then all my luck just went, mew, just down the drain. Just spiraled down the drain and now my luck is gone. My luck is gone. Mm, basic wood extractor, huh? What do you get from this? Eh, not much. Not a, not a lot of uh, decent markup shit in this, is there? It really isn't. Got some thyroid. I finally know where to get pancreas oil. I'm able to get them from like those uh, thorifolds and thory females and shit like that. The thor thorifold shamans and shit like that. So at least I know where to get that stuff from. Because I was, I, was, uh, I was wondering where, you know, where a decent place to get those would be. Ooh. Oh, it's just a small Atrax. Yeah, well, we can we can chance it. Hey, it's an Armax cow. Maybe, maybe they'll give us a maybe they'll give us a a, a, a <laughs> what is it? A shopkeeper pad. I think it was an Armax bull, not an Armax cow. But um, yeah, you never know. You never know. <laughs> nah, of course not. Of course, it wasn't going to happen. That would be like uh, you know, it'd be like winning the lottery twice. It's just not going to work. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but we will go up this way. Hopefully not get accosted by the Atrax. Nah, it's over there. There's another Prancer. We've only got 15 left to kill. We're making good. We're like, we're making good headway with this. Way better than the Thory females. I mean, holy shit. You had to kill a hundred of them. But the situation that it was in was absolutely mental. Because there was like, in one area, there was like level 25 A-Trax. And, uh, yeah, like level 25 A-Trax. Or level 24 A-Trax. There were uh, Armax uh, cows and there were uh, like the, the Therifold shamans and... Ooh. Speak of the Atrax and he will show its ugly fucking face. See, it's these ones that will do the damage to you. Like Atrax, like a Atrax is a lot more aggressive and a lot and a lot lot more hard hitting. I do need to upgrade my uh, armor at some point to deal with bullshit like this, but I'll figure that out later on down the line. Once I've got way more PED. Uh, then I know what to do with. Then I'll start getting like lots of different sets of armor to deal with multiple different fucking things. You know, I, th I think my next one is I need to get armor for robots. 
because right now I've got plates that can handle uh, some drones and shit like that, but nah, I gotta get proper proper armor. I'm thinking of getting some uh, uh, some li like uh, limited vi uh, getting some vigilante things like that. That's what I'm thinking. Get some uh, or either vigilante or something else. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Whatever I've got the money for. I could also try the hunter outfit, like the hunter uh, armor. That, from what I've seen, is a cheaper, but also, like, if you combine it with plates, is a decent uh, one for robots. But, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll have to figure that out as I go along. What would you guys recommend? Like, have you tried out using uh, the hunter, uh, hunter armor on robots with, say, like a 6A armor plate? Um, you know, does it work out well? Or would you uh, recommend I not waste my time on the unlimited bullshit and get the, like, the unlimited stuff and get a set of really good limited, uh, stuff for robots and just use it against the, uh, the robots? What would you suggest? Because I'm, I'm, I'm down for, uh, hearing suggestions. Suggestions are always good. Oh lord, he coming. Oh lord, he coming. These guys are weird, just the way they walk, because they've got like... They've got like six legs. They walk so funky. Because it's not like six legs and there's like a, they're like a bug or anything like that. They're like, like a weird fucking dildo looking thing. Whoop. Like a weird... It's just a weird slimy... Almost a blend of a... Lamprey... And Goro's sick love child, you know, with all the all the fucking legs and stuff. It, it, it's, they're they're very they're a very weird animal. Hey, there's another prancer. Cool, cool, cool. We we're making uh, we're making good good headway, making good time as well. This video is going to be uh, hopefully under the forty minute mark. I want to try to keep these under the forty minute mark. Hey, that was like. F a little bit over 5 PED. I would like to see a global before uh, before videos end, but um, I don't think we're going to get that. But we are going to double up with the Prancers. Hell yeah. Double up, boys. Some more Prancer skin. Oh, I wonder if I can... Uh, I wonder if I can uh, combine it now. I wonder if I can refine it. Hey, Prancer Leather. Let's see how much Prancer Leather sells for. Doesn't sell for fucking anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Prancers are a bit of a bust. I guess I'm just doing this for the the token, I guess. And, you know, getting skills and things like that is another good thing, but... You know, the, 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 the real... The real, um... The, the, the real mobs that I prefer to, to hunt are things like the Maphoids and I prefer to hunt uh, Combibos and Exarasaurs and and, cer and certain robots that I am actually able to hunt. I like to hunt those robots because um, they sell like socket compo- they sell the socket components, they sell like the filters and and the robot um, like the, the weapon uh, the weapon grips and things like that. Things that, like, when it comes to robots, a lot of their stuff is pretty much, uh, if, you know, it's a, around about 105%, and then they also drop things like, uh, the components that have, like, 150% markup, so, robots are a good one, and you know me, you know I love hunting me robots and things like that. Okay, this is the last Prancer, so what we're gonna do is we are going to fly over to here, and we're gonna see what we got. And, uh, call it a day. Alright, let's have a sus. Let's have a sus of this. And, yeah, we'll pop this shit down here. Uh, it's probably gonna be, like, the stock standard, like, 70% back. Not even, it's like 65%. Ooh, nasty. Not even 65%. That's a... That's a terrible run of it, terrible run of it. But that is what that is kind of what happens when you go through like multiple different like different mobs, because you know 
things need to respawn, and then it's across multiple mobs. It, it can be a little bit, little bit harsh, but them's are the realities of it. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get a little bit better of a mob to hunt. Uh, maybe something that's a little bit more, you know, a hundred mobs, but of a mob that, you know, is 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 not surrounded by a bunch of other mobs mixed in with a bunch of other mobs. Hopefully that's on the cards for tomorrow, but. For now, I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, because these Entropia videos will be out every day. And hopefully so will Path of Exile and maybe a couple of others. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But you all take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.